Hello Scorpio, how are you guys doing? Welcome into your weekly love reading, which is from, let me get the dates right, the 23rd until the 27th of August, guys. Let's get into it. Let's clear the space before I begin of any of the previous readings that are on here or have been here on the table. And then I'm calling in your spirit guide so that we can do your reading. This week I'm using the Moonology. I've been using it since last week because of the full moon that took place on the 22nd of August. August. Um, that moon was in Aquarius and it affects relationships. Okay. It's an energy of starting new relationships or going deeper in connections, intimate relationships as well. So let's see how this moon's energy is going to affect you and possibly another person. I'm going to take out uh, cards for an, uh, for somebody else, for you and your person, for your person and for you on this side. Remember, because this is a general reading, we can reverse those energies so let's have a look and see what's up mm. are you about to take a risk on something something is calling you i wish i can get this card to focus just a second step out of your comfort zone something is calling you could it be love i am just saying because there is an energy of you needing to take a risk on something this is a complete this reading is for somebody completely new you you so you don't have a history with this person they completely new because the north node energy talks about portals that are opening up and you have the decision or the understanding or the choice if you want to go in or through that portal or stay where you are now which would be south node you may have already taken a risk on somebody already okay because it does show north node energy so you may have already let somebody into your world and you're now taking a risk things are going to a place that you have never been before with this person um let's have a look could this relationship be different than other relationships before let's see what cards will come out here the eight of cups energy yep in your person's energy Ten of Cups as well in the reverse position. Let's see. Three of Swords energy. Wow. And the Page of Pentacles. This is a new person. This is a new person. So we're looking at a new person here. This person has a history. Okay. That's what you need to know. If you don't know them that well, I'm going to tell you more about them. They have a history in their, their past. Okay. They may have been either living with somebody or dating somebody very seriously. They may have a child with somebody else or children with somebody else. Okay. That ended up either in a divorce or a breakup. It was quite serious. Um, they walked away from something. Okay there could have been a third party situation in the breakup of this connection here um i'm just saying but they were definitely heartbroken by this but it's funny because even though they've got all this stuff going on here they still have hope over there with the page of pentacles and their hope is that they can still actually have a good relationship even though they've experienced all of this their hope is still there that they can have a good relationship i do feel like it is this person coming towards you okay i feel like they're approaching you and they're coming in towards you and they're like you know i would you like to date would i'd like to get to know you can i get your number you know they're trying to reach out towards you trying to get to know you so you got this opportunity to experience something or a person that you don't know um i don't feel like you know them that well but um you're not sure if you're gonna do it because you know do i do this do i not do this it's i feel like that kind of energy of like i don't know i'm not sure you know look at that queen of cups coming up here queen of emotions the four voices yeah you, you're there like that energy in your energy there that's nice queen of inspiration wow okay and temperance, there's the caution. Yeah, as your Sagittarius energy, there's the caution. There's the caution. There's you being very careful. Okay, first of all, I just got to say Scorpio, my goodness. You know when I said, wow, to see the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Inspiration, the Queen of Wands in someone's energy. Um, no wonder this person's coming off to you. I'm just saying, because the thing is, the Queen of Cups shows me when I put the card down and I saw the, saw the Four of Swords there, I was like, oh, okay. So this is what you've done. And that's nice. You've actually done a lot of um, 
it's, it's spirit guide says something very interesting as i'm speaking you don't understand as tarot readers what's going on with us depending on who you are what tarot reader you are some tarot readers are seeing uh, flashes of images and with me I'm clear audience so I'm hearing spirit guides just talking and sometimes there's a lot of things that they're saying and you like literally miss what they're saying and you're just like what because they're all talking at the same time your spirit guides and mine the thing is yeah you've done something here which is very beautiful so they were just saying that um, this is self I think they said something really strange like self introspection it's like you looked into yourself, like you did, it's really strange, it's like you did shadow work. I don't know, for some of you out there, you did some looking into yourself, into your dark places. You faced some stuff about yourself that wasn't easy, but you did it anyway. And then you ended up accepting that part of yourself, that's actually just beautiful. Like emotional and everything, you know. You, you saw yourself in the light of day, and it wasn't all pretty. But you said, this is me, and I'm going to love myself anyway. I know I'm not the best person on the planet, but I'm also a human being, and we all like that. And you've accepted your light, you've accepted your dark, and in doing so, oh my goodness, Scorpio, your spirit guides today, you have become the queen of emotions. Isn't that beautiful? You have healed yourself. For, this is for somebody who really went deep. You could have even been going through something like the dark night of the soul for a couple of months. I just, you know, you could have been even depressed for a while, but you're coming out of it. And when you did this, your heart just became bigger than what it ever was. Oh, that's so beautiful. And you're glowing up as well. You, you're shining your light with the screen of inspiration and you're just showing yourself to the world and your energy from where you were. Oh my goodness, this can even be North Node. You entered into North Node already. You've already done. Oh my gosh, I totally understand. You've done this already. You were in south node and you were to get into north node you went through this stage that you went through and you've already stepped into north node so you've changed something about your life and you're becoming more of who you truly are but in doing so stepping into this new way of being you've attracted a new person okay and this person sees this and he's just going my goodness I want to be with the Scorpio because of who I see them to be. Wow. But you got caution here. You're like, I'm very careful because I've been through the dark night of the soul. Look how dark it was. Now you're here. Isn't that beautiful? You are here. You are here now. You're blooming. That's just beautiful. And uh, you will be very careful who you allow into your world. To be 100% honest, that is how we are supposed to be. We truly give ourselves away to anybody that comes around without thinking how precious we really are. It's like throwing <laughs> um, rare diamonds, just throwing diamonds, you know, away. And it's something that's so rare. You're so rare. Your soul is so important. We cannot just be giving it away to absolutely anyone. So I want to see deeper. Let's have a look for you guys deeper into their energy exactly who are they and what a spirit guide want you to see because i don't think your spirit guides would want you to be hurt again as well after all the work that you've done it's almost like they just said they literally just said we're so proud of you so let's have a look and see they have got the nine of cups coming in here so the thing is with this person they may feel like you don't are not seeing them okay the nine of cups there they really offering look at this this person is really coming in <laughs> wanting to literally stand in front of you like this I'm, I'm on my hands and knees i'm begging you know what i mean they really coming in there but they may think that they're not worthy of you or they may think that you don't see them or you you're not really interested in them that's what you need to know. They're wondering if you're actually interested in them or if you view them as a potential person that, that you can be with, that they can, you know, they're really wondering how you're feeling about them. They're not sure at all. With you, wow, you're just stable over there. You've got the three of pentacles rocking up here. Your energy is just like unbelievable. Scorpio, whoever you are, like, 
you are like the energy that you're carrying we all need to get here this strong this this we've done the things we need to do we are doing the self-love and you got this extremely strong stability you may even be doing very well in life in general you literally leaving this person feeling extremely insecure extremely insecure they don't know um i don't honestly can i tell you i don't know if you have if there's attraction that you have for this person are you even noticing them um uh, do you have feelings for them? Is there a spark there? Ask yourself those questions. Because I'm not sure, <laughs> to be totally honest, I'm not sure if you're even interested in this person in any way. You know, I don't know. Maybe you don't know either. You're just like, I don't know. I'm a, you, I feel like you're okay. You don't feel like... I don't, I don't feel like there's, there's zero desperation coming from you. That's what I can tell. You're not desperate for a connection or a relationship or anything. So you're okay in your world. You're just like, I'm good. I'm fine. And yes, this person coming in and you may be questioning like, I'm so good right now. Do I take this risk where possibly something can go wrong down the line? I think you're really in your element and you're just like, I'm so happy right now. I don't know if I... Do I want this drama? Is there going to be drama? There's that kind of question. So let's have a look and get the last one out. Oh, you will know very soon. Hello, full moon in Gemini energy. The answers you need are coming. So one way or another here, you're going to know exactly what to do with this person. You know the Gemini energy as well. I kind of pick up on that back and forth feeling from you as well. Like, I don't know. Should I or shouldn't I? Maybe today you're going, okay, all right, there's this person. And tomorrow you're like, but I'm fine. I don't need anyone. I don't understand. Maybe I shouldn't do this. I feel like this back and forth energy. I really feel like just give it a bit of time. You're going to figure this one out as you go along. And I feel like you're going to know without a doubt. I'm either good. I'm fine. I'm sorry, but I'm, I don't feel like getting involved. Or you may literally be like, okay. Okay, I think I could do this. But I think you could just need to be in this energy right now and allow this to unfold without a doubt. You're going to know very, very soon. Wow. But good luck moving forward. Whatever you decide, obviously, it's going to be what you need to have in your life, what is best for you. I can see that very, very clearly. Very nice, actually. Um, if the reading resonates, hit that thumbs up button. That would be very nice for me. I'm just saying. Um... You can subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell so you know when my readings come out. They do come out on Sundays for the weeklies. And on weekends, they come out on a Friday. Uh, pick a card reading on a Wednesday. What else? If you want to follow me on TikTok. Woohoo! TikTok. It's fun. I, yeah, I'm releasing videos there that I do not release here. I only started on the 7th. I did post some stuff before, but I just haven't been there for like almost a year. And I didn't understand what's happening. But now I get it and it's fun. You can go check it out. There's a link in the description box below. Um, what else? If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's where we can like kind of comment to each other and get to know each other. Uh, what else? If you want a personal reading as well, with me you can contact me directly on my email which is in the description box of this video otherwise guys have an amazing day wherever you may be in this world i am sending my love into your direction bye